Town of Hennessy Board of Trustees special meeting June 15th, 2022 at 6 p.m. Town Hall. Number one, call to roll, order. To, excuse me, call to order and roll call, please. Richard? Here. Cliff? Here. Harold? Here. David? Here. Bert? Do you have an extra pen? I don't have a pen. Uh, two, the 22. 2023, 20, thank you. Budget public hearing. Does anybody have any uh, comments or questions? No. <laughs> oh, man. As a resolution approving the town of Hennessy, Oklahoma, no, budget down here. for that goes down there. That goes down there? Yeah. Okay, so there's no, no comments on that one. Okay. Schedule business on three. Discuss, approve, award, review, reject, and or deny any action on the following. A. Discussion with possible action to approve the 2022-2023 Town Hennessy budget. Jimmy, I think you did a good job on redoing it. Thanks for taking the time, Jimmy. Make a motion to approve 2022 23 town agency budget. I'll second resolution. that. Can you add the resolution number? Oh, the resolution number is. What's the letter? Not on my sheet. 2022 2. 2022 2. Mm -hmm. Do I read it? No. I make a motion to approve 2022 2 town budget. Budget for 2022-23. I second that. Roll call, please. Harold. Yes. Cliff. Yes. Richard. Yes. David. Yes. On B, discussion on reform rules. Wait a minute. That's right. Uh, discussion of the uh, reform rules of the town council and the mayor. This is for Richard. Yes, this is mine. What I want to do is give 30 day notice. Uh, I'm going to just, I have a handout. I'm going to just distribute some changes I'd like to see made. I'd like to open up this government more to the public and how we do business. Um, I was troubled in October. I was angry. I was very angry at that time. The way the feeling of, uh, of a vacant position. Uh, the way I look at it, uh, David Jones, a 20-year Air Force veteran, was not given the opportunity to run in an election because Bert was trying to push his candidate through. I didn't like that. And that's why I was so angry in that October meeting. And I think this two-day, this two-day 48-hour warning about this public here special hearing on the library following a busy Memorial Day. I've had a lot of people complain about that. Um, so I want some changes. My model is to subscribe to the Kingfisher Times and Free Press, and my model is the Kingfisher Town Council. They're very professional, and. Uh, they're masters at going after grants and running the town. I attended three of their meetings when I was a private citizen. I'm going to hand out these things I'm going to present in the next town council meeting. You have, so you'll have plenty of time to look at them and think about them and make a decision whether what you want to do. This town council has a ch chance change the way we operate and when we had that horrendous pavilion meeting this was the meeting where I was I asked the question I was out of town I had offered those lots to the town council four years went by I didn't receive a call didn't receive an email nothing I was out of town and 
I learned while I was out of town that the town council had bought these new steel buildings. Fine. I was called in. It was presented to me, and now I said, please give us the lots. And I asked a question. I asked a question. What color are these two new steel buildings? Everybody started looking at everybody. Heads were bobbing up and down. They couldn't answer my question. That meant the town council bought these buildings and didn't even know what they were buying. And you just can't throw up some buildings. That, that lot, those two lots, the old Johnson lumber yard and those other 11 lots, you got to do lot preparation and that's expensive. And if you look at my Champlin building on the corner, I raised that 16 inches. You'll see a steep incline to get into the garage. There's two steps to get into the two apartments. And I did that for a reason. 30 days after I bought that property, we had a horrendous rain. There's water everywhere back there. I wasn't going to put up a new building and get a call at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mr. Simeonek, there's three inches of water in the living room. What are you going to do about it? When I walked up, I was called every name in the book to intimidate me to give those 11 lots to the town. When I walked out of that meeting, I made a promise to myself I was going to clean up this government. I was going to clean up this government and how it treats people. I failed. I failed miserably at trying to make changes. But when those 50 people were here, on 48 hour notice, 50 people showed up here at a meeting. That sent a message to everybody. To the people of Hennessy, I want you to know I failed, but you succeeded. Your presence here has given us the opportunity to establish a very fine working committee to save the library, the museum, the archives, the theater. We need to expand our museum. It's spread out in the hall. The hall is full. But you did something else more important. Your appearance here has changed your town government forever. The great mistake, the great mistake over these past decades has not been doing any long-term planning. And why don't we do long-term planning? We haven't been going after these past four decades after grants and establishing legacy programs. So that's why I'm making these changes. And if you want a copy of them, just email me at richardsimunek at gmail.com. I will send you a copy. It's two pages, very simple. Let me read some of the changes. The mayor is to be elected to office by a vote of Hennessy citizens similar to Kingfisher. Can we legally do that? No. And you no. would have to change the form of government. Ah. If that's okay. what's necessary, we'll contact the Hennessy attorney, tell us what to do. I want to expand the town council from five to seven members. When you have five members, it's too easy to form a clique of three people and run everything. When you have a seven-member town council, it's going to be harder to get four people together to form a clique and run it. Anytime there is a vacancy, unexpected vacancy on the town board, it and no person files for office. Any person that is nominated for office, that person should be come to the town council. We should know who that we should let the public know who that person is and the town council members in an open meeting ask any questions they want. I hate I hate going to an executive meeting where people you can say anything you want to, and I, I, can't, I can't say anything more, any more than that, because the state law does not pro prohibit us from repeating anything in the executive committee, but I want it stopped. I've had a belly full of trying to make changes. I've had enough. And if it doesn't change, I'm going public. I'm going to the Daily Oklahoman. I'll go to the New York Times. I'll call up my buddies and ask for a reporter's name. I'm tired of this. One, two, three, four, five.
I don't want to discuss these. These are re-readable. We'll discuss them next time. You have to. You have plenty of time to study them. Thank you. And this is basically what King Fisher is doing. I'm finished. Okay. okay. Thank you, Richard. Uh, number three, adjourn. Make motion to adjourn. Uh, second that. Roll call, please. Carol. Yes. Cliff. Yes. Richard. Yes. David. Yes. Hennessy Utilities Authority Board of Trustees Special Meeting, June 15, 2022, at 6 p.m. Town Hall Council Room. Number one, call to order and roll call, please. Richard. Here. Cliff. Here. Carol. Here. David. Here. Bert. Number two, schedule business, discuss, approve, award, review, reject, and or deny any action on the following. Discussion with the possibility of action to approve 2022-2023 Hennessy Utilities Authority budget. I make a motion to approve the 2022-2 budget. Town Hennessy Utility Authority budget. All right. I second. Is he saying number 2022 mm -hmm. And I second that. <coughs> Roll call, please. Richard? Yes. No, actually, wait. Harold? Yes. <laughs> Cliff? Yes. Richard? Yes. David? Yes. B. Discuss with possible action approved to pay applicant number two worth a hydro chem for RO equipment and replacement. That's in your packet. This is, um, I got this the day of board meeting last week, and so since we were having a special meeting, um, I'll put this on here, because so, usually it's on our consent agenda. The contact price is $390,480. Our payment due is $18,738.31. I make a motion to pay the $18,738.31 uh, of our first payment to Worth Hydrochemical. Second. Roll call, please. Cliff? Yes. Harold? Yes. Richard? Yes. David? Yes. Make a motion to adjourn. Second that. Roll call, please. Harold? Yes. Cliff? Yes. David? Yes. Richard? Yes. Thank you, guys.